Okay, so uh, we're magically back here, and um, looks like the live, love, laugh uh, has been uh, edited very uh, maturely. Oh, hello. Ah, Brother O'Neill! Fuck you, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're the guy stealing contracts! You burnt the farm! Killed my brothers! You had too many brothers! They needed culling! You're fucking dead! Aren't we all? We live and we die, that's our curse. Hey, you wanna expedite the situation? Come fucking find me! Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck! I'll be there, man! I don't know when, but I'll be there! Well, oh, hello. Oh. Alrighty. So, uh, wow, okay, so... Was that the last O'Neill? Well, actually, I was gonna say, it's probably the last O'Neill brother, but I can pretty much guarantee he's not gonna come by himself. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm not hungry anymore. Go figure, right? You know, you, you go eat something and then suddenly you're not hungry anymore. Also, am I able to... Oh, I'm... Okay, cool. Uh, I usually do that online. You know, when you do missions and, and heists and stuff, you just go to the quick... There's an interaction menu, the quick GPS, and then the very first one on the right will take you to wherever you have to go. Also, I, uh, I just remembered that, uh, the last time I started recording, I was talking about how I hadn't played GTA V in quite some time, or the single player, I should say, um, and I forgot to mention that part of the reason was because, um, I, I had recorded so much that I was getting pretty low on hard drive space, so I wanted to actually, you know, render all those videos that I had and upload them and stuff, and then, you know, move them off or, you know, like I usually do. Um, and then I can get all that space back, and then I can start recording again. And that's what happened. Alrighty. So, uh, at least now I won't be complaining about being hungry. <laughs> and also, hopefully... I won't keep wandering around. Also, dang it, I always forget to do that. Now, anyway. Uh, hopefully I won't keep wandering around aimlessly, wondering how to get money. Hopefully this heist will give uh, all three of them a whole bunch of money. Although, Franklin and Michael are actually pretty set. Oh, I missed the train. Pretty set on money, I'd think. Like, Michael has, like, nearly a mil, and Franklin has, like, 700,000 now even after all that stuff that I spent. And, um, Trevor, <laughs> Trevor's still in the hole. Trevor has five dollars. Uh, yeah, I made a, I made a boo-boo. I, I, I shouldn't have bought all those guns and ammunition, but at the same time, to be fair, I didn't know that I needed a bunch of money, or not a bunch of money, but just, uh, enough to get me by through that heist, or this heist setup, I should say, not that heist. Also, it's pretty early in the morning here, so, uh, I'm gonna be doing this pretty early, I, I suspect. Here we go! T what are they doing? Having a staring contest? What is this? We finna do this shit. We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Hey, what's up? Let's sit up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah? I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah? I'm gonna be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley, in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, <laughs> after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. <laughs> as long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? She a truly professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> oh, they like my choice in masks, I see. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Ah, ah, ah. 
<laughs> oh god, that's that was awesome. Just to see their reactions. I, I'm gonna assume it's the same reaction no matter what masks you actually buy, but that was still really funny. Alrighty. So uh, here we go. What the? Apparently, uh. Okay. I just love how people drive in this game. Apparently, Michael wasn't too big of a fan of my uh, monkey mask for him. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, do what we're supposed to do for this heast. Heast! We're doing heast here. <laughs> Third one in the game. It's, you know, I would call it the second one because, you know, the one that we did for Trevor doesn't, I don't know, it just didn't count. There's no money involved. I was very disappointed. Probably not as much as Trevor, apparently, but uh, yeah, pretty disappointing. All right, T, I'm in position. What's the ETA? Where are they? Is that them? No. Nope. I got a visual oh. on the target. Should be with you any moment. Ooh, armored truck. That means like plenty. Michael, you better get on your way. Got his eyes. Get the truck in position. Across. Both lanes, remember! Oh, okay, cool. I can handle that. I hope. I just have to make a really big, swingy turn. Just stop in the road and stay there! Right, I'm stopped. You're on, F. Little Prince. <laughs> nice. Oh. Sanitation aren't meant to be here today. <gasps> Gasp. They're on to something. Ram speed, bitch! Oh, pfft. I was gonna say, why is he slowing down? All right, here we go, and doesn't seem like that would be fast enough to do all that. But hey, it's it's a cutscene. Who really cares? I guess, right? Okay, Michael's already out of the truck with his gun out. Oh, right, I know how to do this. Yep, I've done this many times online. You complete prank! Clean out the van, I got the guard. The alarm's been tripped. The cops will be swarming here in 10 seconds. You better run! Shut the fuck up. Come on, good to go. You hear all them sirens, dog? Looks like they hit their panic button. Have the LSPD incoming! Oh, that's right, we gotta get to the... to the escape car or whatever it was. Shit, we ain't gonna clear the area. All right, hold the cop. Make a play when we see a window. Hey man, we sitting ducks right here. Oh shoot. Yeah, I should have gotten behind cover. I thought I was supposed to follow him. Pretty sure they can still shoot me from here. Really awkward position to be in. Oh. Hello? What, the, what was that? I couldn't shoot that guy. That was weird. Okay. I, I don't know if I was supposed to get off of that rail or stairway. I don't know why I called it railway. Um, with Michael, but it just seemed like it made sense because there's a bunch of guys coming from this way. I'm just switching back to Franklin. So again, this goes. Oh, hello. This goes back to what I was saying about the uh, the GTA protagonists. Uh, we're literally taking down the entire police force. Whoops. Hey, 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 hey. 
Take out the snippers. Where? 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 There's the snippers. Oh, there. There's one. Beep. Shooter one is down. Boop. Damn, man, you call my fucker, dog. Shooter two is down. Rooftop is cool. That was quick. Clear of shooters. Quick and easy. Cops on the left here. Oh my god, there's so many. There's a sniper in the chopper! You better look out! Oh, you gotta be precise with this thing! That's it, dog! I'm just going back to Franklin. Michael looked like he was gonna die soon, and I don't want to be responsible for that. Back off! Oh shoot. Herb? Whatever. I'm just gonna walk up. Hey, when these motherfuckers don't see it up! star. Well, I just have one star. Also, I like... Oh, wait a minute. I gotta take care of this guy. There we go. Okay. Now I feel better. Alright. <coughs> so, let's get that music going, you know, just to break the tension a little bit. Bye-bye, everyone. See you later. Okay. Off we go. With lots of money, I imagine. I mean, we just knocked over an armored truck. Although it was the middle of the morning, so I don't know how much money would actually be in it. You know, you'd think that... I remember um, there was an episode of Burn Notice that they, uh, they were trying to foil some people who were uh, trying to knock over an armored truck, and they, they figured it out really late, and they figured out that the bad dudes wanted to knock over the truck at, like, it was like the evening, it was like 5 or 6 p.m. And I remember Michael mentioning that uh, the armored truck was going to be loaded with cash. Cause, or it might have been Sam that said that, actually. Uh, it's going to be loaded with cash because it's, you know, the end of the day. And uh, so, you know, eh, it works, you know. I'm not, I'm not a professional bank robber myself, so I don't really know personally from any personal experience. I just know what... Um, to go off of from what I hear. Alright, everybody get out of my way. I'm a big fat garbage truck, alright? Gotta give me lots of space. Alright, seriously, yeah, that's that's not what I was talking about. I said lots of space, not cut in front of me. This is, uh, this is a totally GTA playthrough. This is not uh, some sort of whitest GTA playthrough where I stop for red lights or anything. So somebody out there will understand what I'm saying. Alright, let's go here. Also, oh yeah, this is the place where I put the car. Leave the garbage truck. Okay. Destroy the garbage truck. Okay. It's a little close to the car, but, uh, eh, I don't think it's going up. Now we're gonna, yeah. So get away vehicle. Okay. It's actually, it was actually pretty close. That was a good call by me. You know, again, you know, I had no idea where we were going to be, like, ending up after this heist was over. But, uh, I should be able to get out this way. Oops. Um, I didn't know if I could knock over that fence or not. Oh, hey, this is where uh, one of the uh, online heists hey, happens. <laughs> Whoops. I think. Yeah. You have to go get a garbage truck from there, too. It's uh, I think it's Trevor's online heist. Anyway. Uh, now, oh, I was gonna say now what happens. Everything cool? Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. 
I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Ah. Okay, that was abrupt. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Devin? Is his name Devin Weston? Because I'm familiar with that name. Oh, shoot. My stupid phone. Alright, I gotta keep the phone away from the microphone because... Or my cell phone away from the microphone because... Uh... Every so often when it gets like... I, I believe it's the GPS signal. It makes... Like, my microphone picks up a weird noise off of it. And it's like... And, uh... It gets pretty loud depending on how close it is. How's it going? Got a package for Devin Weston. Okay, it is Devin Weston. Why am I familiar with that name? Come on. Who's Devin Weston? Why do I yeah, know that name? I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend what? interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. Sounds great. Right. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Eh, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. <laughs> that was the magic words that he wanted to hear, apparently. Oh, this guy knows how to make his money voice. talk. That's for sure. Oh, hey, but I have my... What? That's my custom license plate. Why is it randomly on this, uh... On this car? What car is this? Why do I... Like, how come the protagonists are getting random cars that I don't remember ever having? Maybe they bought them. I don't, I don't, what? Maybe this was the original car he had, but it's, now it's just painted red instead hey, of black. Up, Michael? Hey man, listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. Acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax, the guy's private sector. Very well, could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right, me and Trevor will be there too, I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. <clears throat> okay, we've got an S and a D. Now, I'm gonna assume the D is Devin Weston. I have no idea who the S is. Uh, isn't, wait. I'm trying to think of his wife's name. Wasn't it Samantha? Oh, hey, it's his daughter. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help. Like, serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Huh. All right, um... Isn't this... wait a minute, isn't this where his house is? Just his S. I'm gonna assume that's his wife, and I'm gonna assume she's back at the house. Oh, that's that weird... oh, that's right, yeah, the weirdo with the, uh... The weed wants to talk to, uh, Michael, apparently. We're all stars here. No thanks. <laughs> uh, strangers and freaks. Yeah, the, the game might be... A little interesting as I uh, go ahead and try to climb towards, you know, 100%. Um, if I'd never made it clear at, at any point throughout this playthrough, I'm definitely... Oh, I'm taking a shortcut here. 
I'm definitely not going to be doing 100% on this playthrough. Um, I, I just, you know, want to do the story mode, and then, you know, and then just be done with it. So. I hope that doesn't disappoint anybody. It probably does. But, at the same time, uh, the game's a little long. Um, maybe, maybe a little longer than I expected it to be. But, uh, I mean, I like where it's going and all, but, uh, you know, after, after the story mode, it's just like, I don't feel like there's any real necessity for me to keep recording and doing, you know, the side missions and, you know, strangers and freaks and, like, whatever other random stuff you have to do around Los Santos. <laughs> To, like, I'm going to try to get 100% completion. I never actually got 100% on GTA 4. Whoops. But, um, I tried to. Close to when GTA 5 was going to drop on PC, I started playing GTA 4 a little bit more. And uh, I did some... Some of the achievements that I never got before. Um, what was one of them? Oh, yeah, one of them was, like, you had to do, like, the races and stuff for Brucey. Uh, and, uh... What was one of the other ones? Oh yeah, you had to get like a really specific score on cubed, or like you had to get like the top score. You had to beat the top score. That was it. That that one was a little annoying. <laughs> All right, like I like cubed. It's it's kind of a fun little mini arcade game, but um, when I had to do it for that, oh, there's a thing happening. Okay, that was quick. Um. What? Hello? Get on. Get on the bike. Michael, get on the bike. What is this? Oh. Oh, the guy came up and took it. Oh, you're the man, buddy. Ah, forget it. I gotta pretend like I'm a good guy sometimes. Hmm. Oh, he gave me nothing for that. Oh, well. Anyway, um... So, yeah, when I had to do it for the achievement, the first time I tried it, I... I, I Ended up having to do two attempts. I probably don't want to knock this guy off the bike after I just saved it. Uh, the first attempt didn't really go so well. I got, like, super frustrated because it's it's kind of a confusing game. Like, I, I couldn't uh, figure out how to... Oh, my. How to keep making it go, like, like either fall down a specific way or just, like, you know roll one cube over the other. I couldn't do that consistently. So it's just like, I, you know, I, I guess I could have like looked up a video or something like how to play it, you know, better. But eh, you know, it was simple enough. It's just like the first time I lost, I got super close and it was really frustrating. Then I just did it a second time and I, I beat it. It's just like, ah, oh, thank you. Oh, it's the movie producer guy. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go to the D then. Now, I don't know if I have to do this with Franklin 2, but, um... Oh well. I'm just gonna go there with Michael anyway. Maybe Franklin will automatically go over there, who knows. Although it's nice to be, uh, taking control of Michael again, as compared to... God, I, I was playing as Trevor for a long while there. I mean, yeah, I know I could have swapped out at any second, but... Um, I don't know, just Tre Trevor was the main focus for a little while there. Now it just feels like Michael is, for the moment. And, uh, and so now we're gonna go see, uh, Mr. D. Hmm. Kinda like how that looks. Alright, you know, that makes me think, you know, I really wish that there was, like, more options to buy property online, but like, there's there's not too many, and they're all pretty close to each other. You know, like the high-end ones, but uh, yeah, whatever. Maybe, maybe there'll be a future update. Oh, they're already here. Nice. What's going on? Hello. You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. <laughs> Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. What in the world? Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. 
That was like a yoga position, wasn't it? Me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. <laughs> That's a really fancy car. <laughs> 